He says that the current COVID-19 vaccine is resulting in antibody mediated viral enhancement, a condition that occurs when vaccines work incorrectly, causing the immune system to fight the virus wrong and thereby allowing the virus to become worse than it would be if a person just got COVID-19 infection naturally. He says that's the cause of the current round of COVID-19 outbreaks around the country. And he says a study of COVID-19 patients in Massachusetts proves his claim. What's your thought about that? That um, the, the virus is basically causing the immune system to fight the virus wrong, allowing it to become essentially worse than it would have been without it. So, so the, the notion of antibody dependent enhancement. So the, the person who made those comments either doesn't understand antibody dependent enhancement or is purposefully misleading people about this vaccine. So antibody dependent enhancement is a thing. It happens with dengue fever. It's happened with, uh, with uh, previous vaccines in early testing. It's something that, you know, when you're testing a vaccine, when scientists are testing vaccines, they look for. And what it is, is it, it's, it's a phenomenon where you give someone the vaccine and then if they get subsequently infected, they get far more sick than if they never had the vaccine or were never previously infected in the first place. So it happens. It, it happens naturally in, in nature. Dengue fever, you can get infected once. And then the second time you get infected, if you get a different strain, it can be worse. That's antibody dependent uh, enhancement. So it happens. It doesn't happen with this vaccine. How do we know? It's quite simple. It doesn't happen with this vaccine because if it happened with this vaccine, people who were previously vaccinated when they got COVID-19 would get far sicker than if they had never been vaccinated. The hospital through that wall would be filled with vaccinated people with severe disease. That is not what we're seeing. The hospitals are not filled with vaccinated people. The hospitals are filled mostly, almost, almost exclusively with people who have not had the vaccine. And so this notion of antibody dependent uh, enhancement is, sounds super smart because it does exist, but it, to, to say that it happens with this vaccine is either a gross uh, 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 misunderstanding of the, the, the term in general or just frank disinformation to scare people. And he, he points to um, these, this, this outbreak in Barnstable County, Massachusetts, mm -hmm. to point out that 75% of the people there who came down with the recently with COVID-19 were COVID-19, uh, were previously vaccinated. Now, of course, none of those people died, none of those, and, and hospitaliz hospitalization rates were very low. But he's pointing out the fact that, look, there's, there's a population here where there was an outbreak and 75% of those people already had COVID-19. That sounds pretty convincing. Is yeah, there a problem that, with that argument? Yeah, that, that does sound convincing. And actually, that did happen. That was published in the Morbid Morbidity and Mortality Weekly Report, which is a pretty reputable journal. Um, you know, the, the problem with, so, so yes, that happened. And yes, there are breakthrough cases. Undoubtedly, the Delta variant is awful. It's awful. What we don't know, though, is how many people that were, that were in that town were vaccinated. I would venture to say it's, it was probably 70 or 80 percent. Because listen, the more we vaccinate, the higher the percentage of cases will be people who were previously vaccinated. It's simple math. So yeah, th that that study did make us all pause. Like, oh man, this 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 Delta variant does infect previously uh, vaccinated people, but it doesn't prove anything about the effectiveness effectiveness of the vaccines. In fact, the fact that ninety eight percent of those people had mild disease actually is a win, not a loss. 